The Keen and Pixies. Hi there, we are the Keenan Pixies, a South African family that sold everything we had and moved across the Atlantic to the Central American country of Panama. We are Denzel, the amazing musician, myself Genevieve, happiest when I can create, Jade Erin, a sensitive soul with a most caring heart, and Bella Fleur, a little butterfly that loves to sing, all of whom feel our absolute best when we are out and about exploring nature. Welcome to our story. Who knows what adventure is next? Say hello. Hola. Como esta? Hello. Okay, so a little bit of a background of this Namibia series that we will be doing. <laughs> Um, in 2017, I was a full-time photographer and really enjoying it and loving it. Denzel was a full-time musician. My sister was a silversmith and my brother-in-law was, he has his own business, but he was also a musician playing often in our little village where music is very liked and very loved. <laughs> so please say hello to some of the most wonderful souls to walk this earth. Rick, who's also known as Ray Ray, Veronique, who's also known as Nini, Rico, who's also known as Coco, Coco Pie, Rico Sticko, aka our most favorite and beloved cousin and nephew who we miss and love so dearly. And um, together with the Keenan Pixies, we became the big surprise. So in 2017, um, some of my sister's friends actually got married and they invited Denzel and Rick to play at their wedding, which was in Potenoster in the Cape. Uh, we were sort of in central South Africa and this was at the bottom of South Africa, like the tip of South Africa. And we thought, well, it's a very far way to go. Maybe we can make this an epic adventure and do some music touring along the way. And I don't know who came up with the idea or how we came up with the idea, but somehow Barton Oster and Namibia just sounded like such a great way to do it, <laughs> to do a Cape music tour and then combine it with a Namibia tour. Be tired, puppy bands. Where's your dad? Hello. And so this is how we ended up doing our first Namibia tour. Jade was about um, one and a half years at that stage and unfortunately due to hard drive failure I lost all that footage. I have some photos left which I will share with you in these um, upcoming videos. comes Table Mountain. Yeehaw! There she is.
but that tour was it was just remarkable it was incredible the bond that we created together as a family was ah uh, words can't explain it and we just fell in love with namibia we fell in love with namibia we fell in love with our own country we fell in love with music touring and being together in the van cool we're going to june 7th maybe we can land a gig over the railway line wow. look at this place there's a mess of sand dunes I mean, there's a palm trees in the distance there. That's big. It's more like it. So that first tour really just did it for us. We we just loved it. We just loved being on the road. We loved going and playing music and meeting new people and being together as a family. And then strangely enough, in 2018 or 2019, um, Denzel was approached by one of his friends who was actually his former music manager um, for a band that they played in way back and his son was getting married and so he invited Denzel and Rick to come and do a music performance at the wedding. So we were just so excited and ready for another Namibia tour as the first tour left us with such yearning to go back and to do it again. So there we were on the second Namibia tour and this is what we will be featuring in this Namibia series. It will look a little bit differently as I deleted the footage. I thought we were never going to use it, so I had it edited. Um, I need to change it a little bit here and there as um, just to make sure there's no copywriting on this um, on these videos. But we will do our best to have some of the tracks hopefully available on some music platforms as soon as possible for you. The second Namibia tour, we decided not to do a whole Cape tour. We were a little bit less available time-wise, so we decided to head straight to Namibia. So there's a lot of driving in the first couple of videos. So we often get asked, what does Africa look like? What does Africa feel like? Um, Africa is in your blood. It's like a rhythm that is in your blood. And you can take the African out of Africa, but you will never be able to take Africa out of the African. That's all that I can say. So even though the first couple of videos might be a lot of driving, soon you will definitely, hopefully, get to see and feel what Africa feels and looks like. Of course, it's different in every country. Namibia is very desert-like. South Africa has more of a range of tropical and desert and mountains, various different landscapes. Um, but we are so excited to be able to share this as this was such a special part in our lives and memories that we will really treasure forever. And for those who are not really interested in seeing this series or in our travels, way back then don't worry we'll be back with our panama videos and panama living in no time but for now enjoy it please let us know your thoughts in the comments if you have any questions about where we went or any questions about africa or um, any questions in general please leave it in the comments and we will be sure to get back to you let's start driving <laughs> we forgot our passports a simple mistake that anyone would make right luckily we remembered about 120 kilometers into the drive so it wasn't too much of a detour a special thanks to Ray Ray for having patience with us can you even imagine if we only realized this once we were at the border it would have been a total disaster
The sleeping arrangements for this trip was a double bed set up in the back for Rick and Nikki and a DIY single bed for Rico that was easily set up across the passenger and driver's seat of the van. Myself, Denzel and Jade had a super simple and lightweight dome tent. On our first tour we had an awesome army tent but just as awesome as it was, it was very heavy and it took up a lot of space in the van as well as a lot of time to set up. So we learned from our mistakes and chose the easiest and most convenient option this time around. Well, ain't nobody got peace inside. After a very long day of driving, we made a stop close to Groedrink to see if we could get something to eat, but unfortunately the food store was already closed and so our only option was to carry on driving to our final destination for the day, Oma Sahesi, translated as Grandma's Little House. It was eight and a half hours to drive to our destination, excluding rest stops along the way, and with two little ones you can only imagine how happy we were to finally get out of the van. Oma Saesi was really so very special to stay at. It had all these old trinkets from our Afrikaans culture and the stark landscape here was absolutely amazing to see and to witness. We also had a braai that evening, a traditional South African braai which is an open fire and then you would place meat on the fire or you would make a braai bruiki which is bread with tomato and onion and cheese and chutney. We all have our different recipes. And I have to say, we all had an amazing sleep that night. The second day of driving would get us to Namibia, but not before a stop at the mechanics to fix the trailer as the roof rack somehow broke. Luckily, this happened while we were still in civilization. After we crossed the border, it was time for a quick snack and a stretch for our legs. Namibia very rarely gets any large amounts of rain, but we must have brought some with us, as the weather was so bizarre, from being very windy to absolutely pouring rain. 
We drove a total of 12 hours that day, and to say that we were beyond exhausted when we arrived at our destination in Marienta would be an understatement. So much for watching the first video of the series. The next episode will be us heading towards Ochiverando, where we will be setting up camp and helping getting ready for the wedding. It's got a lot of um, bushveld vibes, and at night we could actually hear the coyotes. Was it coyotes or wolves? Uh, yeah, wolves. Yeah, wild wolves howling. So it's really, really in the middle of nowhere. Well worth watching the next episode. <laughs> Well, Namibia is really a huge, amazingly open, rugged, hardcore, beautiful country. Playing some music, traveling for hours and hours yeah. through the most remote yeah. places. Just mind-blowing. Wow, what an experience. It's so nice to be able to look back at the, this video and see some of the things that we've along the way. Yeah. Awesome. That's us. Yes. We'll see you in the next one. Awesome. Peace, Peace out. out.